Hey there, welcome everybody. I'm Tony Varela. You're watching Comic TV. It's January 23rd, 2019. I'm going to tell you about all the new comics, hottest variants that came out today. And if you stay tuned till the end, we're going to get to see Yogi Yogi's here's pick of the week. Woo! Let's get this thing started with some back issues that I got in the mail this week. Starting off here, the one you see here is the Web of Carnage. That is the Mike Mayhew variant, and it is sick! Woo! That's the hottest variant I've seen in a while. But uh, I've shown you this one once before. I liked it so much, I got it twice. That's the Amazing Spider-Man Lucio Perillo Black Cat trade dress variant. Another trade dress variant that I got was uh, this numbered Clayton Crane, Superior Spider-Man number one. Clayton Crane's art is sick, and I picked up one of his in the uh, back issue bin today. I'll show you at the end of the video as well. That is the Spider-Man, that's the gamer variant with the Spider-Man PlayStation suit on. Really sick one that I wasn't able to pick up in my comic store, but was able to get on the eBay. Mm. Woo, I love this dog. All right, starting off today's new comics, we got Archie Horror Comics. This one is Blossom 666. Great writing, it's Colin Bunn. We got Laura Braga doing the art, and this is the Hawk variant. Strictly a spec buy. I don't normally buy Archie anything, but you never know. Boom Studios, that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer 1. Johnny Blair is doing the writing, and Dan Moore is doing the art, and that is the Kevin Wada variant. Bought it strictly for the variant. Speculation purposes. Uh, IDW brings you Road of the Dead number three. That's written by Jonathan Mayberry, who does Vampire Wars. Drew Moss is doing the art, and that's the Santa Perez variant. Really nice looking variant on that, and I've been enjoying that story. Art hasn't been great, but it's been a fun title. Speaking of fun titles, this is uh, Middle West. This is strictly a spec buy there. That is a, uh, uh, let's see. That is the Scotty Young written in Jorge Corona art and got a big buzz on it, so I picked it up today. I found it laying around my comic store, so I grabbed it and I'm hoping that'll be a good spec buy. From DC, we got Aquaman number 44. Deconic is doing the writing and Roca's doing the art, and that art inside is fantastic. Now, this was supposed to be the first appearance of a new villain called Nama, but I looking through that, reading that book. I didn't see it. I saw first appearances of something, but it didn't seem to be Nama. So it might be next month before we see the uh, true first appearance of that character. That is the Albuquerque variant on that one. Batman 52, we got Tom King that's uh, writing that book. We got Michael Jannon doing the art on that, and that is the regular cover. I've been buying the variants on that, but today the regular cover was kicking it. Kicking like fried chicken. Justice League number 16, that's Scott Snyder and Tinian sharing the writing duties on that, and Chung and Segovia doing the sharing duties on the art on that title. That's the B cover on that, but I don't know who's doing it. Didn't say inside, but it's pretty nice. Got Naomi number one. This is written by Bendis, and Jamal Campbell's doing the art. That's his first solo, solo title that I know of. He's mainly a cover artist, so look inside, check that title out, because his art is badass, and that's a new title, so... Uh, there was a preview in some of your DC comics last week, so if you've been uh, reading those, you've probably seen a little preview of that, and it looks good. From Marvel, Avengers 13, Jason uh, Jason Aaron's doing the writing, and Andrea Sorrentino is doing the uh, art on that, and art looks sick inside. If you're a fan of Eastside Ribbick, you're going to like Andrea Sorrentino, so I recommend you pick that up. Not only that, it's a good spec book because it's the first 1 million BC Iron Fist chick throwing that hot poon Annie at you on the cover. Boom. <clears throat> Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Donny Cates doing the writing on that, and if you're not picking up Cates' Venom title, you're stupid, man. Get that title. Anything you see Donny Cates on, snatch it up. G.I. Shaw is doing the art on that, and it looks great inside, too. And uh, that is the Perel variant. I believe it's a 1 in 25. was happy to grab that one, but I was even happier to get this some bitch right here. That is the Party variant, one per store. I've been seeing this go for up to 40 bucks, but I didn't pay 40 bucks. I paid cover price for that sucker. Woo! Woo! Cover price, baby! Woo! Loving it. 
Tell you what else I'm loving in this sale. Mortal Hulk number 12. Al Ewing's doing the writing on that. Joe Bennett's doing the art, and it is badass. This is the first appearance of the one below all, so I hope you're on that title. It is, is rocking. Rock it. Jump on it. And on and on it. Superior Spider-Man number two. This is written by Christos Gage and Hawthorne's doing the writing on that. It's all right. Die. I tell you, I wasn't gonna pick up Uncanny X-Men, but I was thumbing through this annual here. It's got the uh, young Cable. Cyclops is back. Ed Brisson's doing the writing. Carlos Gomez is doing the art, and it looks really nice inside. And this Petrovic variant, won me over, baby. One meal or so. Uh, we're gonna have Yogi's pick of the week in just a minute, but first off, uh, stop by uh, Titan Comics in Bradenton today. It's a tattoo store slash comic store, and they open up early, so I've decided to get a little sneak preview on the comics coming out today and dig through their back issue bin. And I was able to pick up this Harley Quinn number three. Woo, sexy cover. That's the uh, uh, Dotson. The Dotson sisters doing that one. And this is a plain clothes Harley Quinn walking her jackals. Does that look familiar, Yogi? Does that look familiar, that doggy there? My little jackal right here, helping me out every week. Got Harley Quinn number 12. That's another Dotson cover. These things go for uh, around 10 bucks or more a piece, and I picked those up for 250. 250. Another 250 buy I bought was the first appearance of Lasher. Not bad, not bad. Speaking of not bad, boing, Vampirella. Whoa, that's a Madura cover, and that Madura cover makes me mucho dura. I told you I was gonna show you a, another Clayton Crane title. I got the Shadowland Ghost Rider. Look at that beauty, and he does the interiors on that title as well. So, whoa, too fitted, loving it. And last but not least, we got Batman Arkham City, got a Delato cover. Never even seen that one before, so. Woo, picked all those up for about 25 bucks, and that's including Yogi's pick of the week. This Guardians of the Galaxy party variant. Woo, party on, Yogi's party on. Cover price, that thing's going for as much as 40 bucks, and I hope the price just keeps going up, because Donny Case doing the art on that, or the writing on that, and G.I. Shaw is kicking ass on the art, so boom, my pick of the week, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yogi, woo, we got another one in the books, buddy. So uh, be sure to join us every Wednesday. I'm getting this video out to you as quick as I can. Just uh, we're going all the editing and stuff for now so I can get it to you as soon as possible so you know what the comics that you need to get are so they before you can get them before they sell out. Join us next week. Be, free, be sure to tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your wife, like and subscribe to this video, and uh, let's build this channel up. Thanks a lot.